Hi, this is Lisa Nelson from E-Nutrition. I help you lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and lose weight. A few weeks ago, I was working with an individual taking drastic steps to lower cholesterol and reduce heart disease risk. One of the changes she made was to cut dairy intake. I was concerned about this and why she believed this was an appropriate step to lower cholesterol levels. I want to make sure you're not confused about the role of dairy and calcium when it comes to heart health, specifically lowering blood pressure. The link between calcium and blood pressure was noticed years ago when researchers realized people drinking hard water had less high blood pressure than those drinking soft water. Hard water contains more minerals, including calcium. Individuals receiving more than 800 milligrams of calcium each day have a 23% decreased risk of high blood pressure versus those consuming less than 400 milligrams each day. Back in 1996, scientists compiled all of the research to date on calcium and high blood pressure. The results showed calcium supplements given to individuals with high blood pressure lowered systolic blood pressure, which is the top number, an average of 4.3, and diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, 1.5 millimeters of mercury. Some people respond better to supplemental calcium than others. Those with the best results include African Americans, elderly, pregnant women, menopausal women, people with salt sensitivity, individuals with a high sodium intake, and those with type 2 diabetes. For the best results, don't rely on a supplement alone. You want to work to increase your intake of calcium-containing foods. To promote heart health, select low-fat dairy products such as low-fat milk, cheeses, and yogurts. Additional calcium sources would be leafy greens such as kale, collard greens, turnip, and mustard greens, broccoli, sardines, canned salmon, calcium-fortified orange juice, and tofu if it's made from calcium carbonate. For even better results, supplement calcium along with vitamin D. One study supplemented women 1,200 milligrams of calcium to reduce blood pressure. When they added 800 international units of vitamin D, systolic blood pressure decreased an average of 9.3%. Don't forget three other minerals affect how effective calcium is, potassium, magnesium, and sodium. For calcium to have the greatest positive effect on blood pressure, your levels of these three nutrients need to be adequate as well. For additional steps to lower blood pressure, please check out the free e-course, Seven Natural Ways to Lower Blood Pressure, at www.lowerbloodpressurewithlisa.com. Thanks for listening. This is Lisa Nelson, your online nutrition coach.